Let's now talk about utilizing Peachtree help features within the software. Have you noticed that with each new release of Peachtree, even though the application is becoming stronger and more complex, the manuals that come with it are becoming smaller. Oftentimes, the manuals even refer you back to the online help features for solutions and guidance. So let's demonstrate the Peachtree online help features within the software. One important thing to note, even though this is called Peachtree online help, this doesn't require you to be logged into the internet to access it. These online help features are included with the software and installed on your computer when you install Peachtree software. Let's demonstrate this. Let's open up a window within Peachtree. Let's come here to Receipts. Over here on the right, in the toolbar button row, we have our Help button. Let's click on the down arrow. and You can see we have three choices here. About this window, how do I, and what's this? Let's go to About this window. When we click here, this immediately brings us to the online help documentation for the receipts window. Here we can read through a detailed discussion of the receipts window. We can also print this discussion if we need to reference it. Let's minimize this and let's look at the next choice. Here we can come to how do I when we click here, Peachtree brings us to the Customers, Sales, and Receipts section, and we can follow through with a step-by-step -step how do I for this area of Peachtree. Here we can scroll down to the Receipts section, and we can see that we can look at how do I receive a payment from a customer, receive a payment from a vendor, and so on. Let's look at receiving a payment from a customer. Peachtree will give us a detailed explanation of how to receive a payment from a customer. Once again, we can read through this and, if we want to, print it. And finally, the last choice, what's this? When we click on this, you'll see that Peachtree puts a question mark next to our cursor. This is so that we can click on any field within a window and a pop-up menu will show up giving us an explanation of what this field is used for. To close this field, just hit your escape button. To access that feature again, come back, choose what's this, and come to any field within Peachtree. Let's bring up another window. Let's come to Maintain Company Information. Now look at the Help button. There's no longer a drop-down arrow to the right of it. And that's because in this type of a window there's not a how do I choice or what's this. We simply click on help and it tells us about the maintain company information window. So certain screens which are transactional screens will have the three choices. Other screens which are more database or informational type will only have the one choice. But you will find that by using this help built-in help feature within Peachtree software, you can find answers and solutions to almost any question you have about Peachtree software. Now, let's close out of this window and let's look at the help features in more detail. We can also access help by coming here. Let's go to the Peachtree Accounting Help. Here, we can browse the entire contents of the online accounting help. Here's an index so we can type in 
a key word and Peachtree will take us to that area such as payments here we can do a search once again let's type in receipts and Peachtree will bring us to the several receipt sections within Peachtree Help here's a great feature over here let's say that somebody gave us an NSF check and we need to find out how to account for it let's clear the field out and type it in again to demonstrate this NSF check hit the enter key and it brings us up some solutions how to account for bad checks from customers click here and it will give us a step-by-step -step instruction and how to deal with an NSF check. So the ask a question feature is a wonderful feature within the help. Let's minimize this again and look at one more feature within help. Here let's come down to Peachtree on the web. Over here online support. This will take you to Peachtree's website. Within Peachtree's website they have even more current help information. You can log into the website, search for questions, and you can even ask questions and receive answers via email on specific topics. So we encourage you to experiment with this online help section. You'll need to log into the Peachtree website and set up a username and password.